Hey Gemini, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of November general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So my fellow Geminians, when I was meditating over the energy, the song that I got was I'll Write a Song for You by Earth, Wind, and Fire. So immediately I thought about the elements. I didn't look up the members' zodiac signs because... I knew it was meant for me to look at the specific elements. So again, earth, wind, and fire. So it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, an air sign, another fellow Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarius, or a fire sign, Leo, Sage, or Aries, sun, moon, rising, or Venus individual. Now, what I got immediately with this is somebody is talking to you via music. Like this person may send you messages through music, or if you hear specific songs, this is how this person is... Um, give you downloads or trying to connect with you spirit is something on a spiritual plane this person is communicating with you through songs and you'll know it because specific songs that you never even correlated or connected with this person before you're going to start thinking about this person or it makes you think about a specific person be it a past person a past relationship or some someone currently now also i just felt compared to share this story you guys know i'm a fellow geminian okay i'm a gemini sun gemini venus and one thing that I used to do a lot, especially when I went through relationship things, I kid you not, I used to write full albums, not a song. <laughs> I used to literally write a full album. And that was a way for me to kind of heal. Like I would use music as a healing for my experiences with certain relationships. And even though I never recorded anything like that, I literally would write a full album. Like if there was a breakup or if I was, you know, call myself being head over heels for somebody, I used to write a full album. Now I felt compelled to share this with you because here's the thing. If you are going through something like that, like a heartbreak or anything significant, maybe you want to write, you know, journal or literally write an album. Like I would dedicate albums to relationships and it's funny a little bit, but it's not because it really did help me heal or it helped me navigate my feelings through that, you know, certain situation which makes a lot of sense for Geminis or if you have Gemini placements because Geminis are very much all about communication. That is our big thing, okay? So whether your son is in Gemini or not, it doesn't matter. Geminis are big on communication and, and you know, narratives and things like that. That's a biggie. And we are very much aligned with music. Music is like our whole life. We have a, a what do you call it, um, a soundtrack you know everything we do we have a s significant soundtrack like we can remember specific people in specific moments by the music that was playing in those times where you know whatever it makes us think about musically so that may be something that you want to tap into okay and i know it sounds weird but it, it's very healing i don't knock it until you try it so i'm getting that okay so let's see what we get for you guys today, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I will show you guys at the very bottom of the deck, we already have our major arcana. So that's a biggie. Let's see what's at the back. Eight of Swords. So somebody is in some type of mental imprisonment in this sword. So that is our energy. You could have ended something with someone in August. You could have been dealing with someone whose birthday was in August or they have an eight in their birthday. The 8th, the 18th, the 28th. Also, someone could be a life path or a personal year number eight. It could be you or a, um, a significant person. See, with the swords down, sword of just the sword down is no, the sword is down, I'm telling you, this is like not communicating, not writing, not, you know, nav navigating a situation with some type of communication. It may be very beneficial for you to write. You know, if you think about it, we listen to music to help us get through certain moments in our life, so why not write your own songs right now? You know, again, it could sound lame, but I'm telling you, it helped me. It, I, I would just say try it. You, it won't hurt to try, Okay. So we're going to go through the deck, and we already have us at the bottom of the deck, but I do want to go through the deck, shuffle some, um, and then see what card comes before and what card comes after for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Visuals, okay? So currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Wands, Success, Attainment, Achievement, Victory. I feel like literally writing and music can help you heal. <clears throat> I'm also going to say, again, somebody could be winning you over by sharing a playlist or something like that with you, because, again, it's about victory. Definitely could be a fire sign, Leo, Sash, Aries. Again, the name of the group is Earth, Wind, and Fire. The very last element was fire. So could be a fire sign or something that happened in fire sign season, specifically Leo, because you already have the Eight of Swords. So something happened in August for some of you all. Or involving someone whose birthday is in August, they could be the August Leo. The Six of Wands is associated with Leo. 
So let's see what we get for you today. Okay, the bottom of the deck, <clears throat> you have a seven of swords, lying, cheating, manipulating, sneak connivance. So you could be lying to yourself or denying yourself the opportunity to heal because you could be holding back. I'm getting that also. So let's see what comes before and what comes after the hangman. See, some of you guys are still hanging in limbo in association with a specific situation or a specific person. That's what I'm getting here. Um, if you see the pinnacles are falling, you can release or there was an ending with an earth sign because he's released, you know, his pinnacles are falling away. You have Aquarius and Aries energy here with the hangman. You're going to end this something Aquarius or Aries season. Aquarius season, January, February. Aries season is March, April. So that may resonate for someone out there. So again, we, yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. You have three major icons back to back. Okay, the hangman, the devil, and then the world card, which I really like. So if you were hanging on to someone, possibly someone who has strong earth in their chart, you have Capricorn here with the devil. He's releasing his pentacles, okay? I like that you have this energy, the world card travel. This is more forward movement. She's moving away. It didn't come this way. It's going this way. She's moving away from the devil. Some toxic thoughts, some toxic things, or is just possibly trying to hold on to some type of connection could have been toxic because the devil is all about toxicity, okay? And I feel like you're moving on from that. I definitely feel like there's a Leo in the mix somehow, okay? You got Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio here. Some of you guys could be healing from this situation before Scorpio season wraps up. Like, you've been in the clutches of feeling stuck, feeling trapped, feeling like you can't move on because remember, you had the Eight of Swords already and she was stuck in the middle of those swords. So you guys are releasing that. You're releasing this person, I'm getting. And I like that energy. I like that a lot. Healing emotionally. You have the King of Cups up under there. So on an emotional level, you're healing, you're mastering your emotions and feelings. Again, we're going to get the Major Arcana, the Lovers. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you guys are moving on. Okay, so you have the Lovers and then right in front of that, the King of Swords. You guys are mastering your emotions for sure. Okay, because see, he's sitting on the throne, very confident, very self-assured. And, and that's your energy, okay? And then right behind that, you have your energy, and then you have the three of wands waiting for your ships to come in. Also, um, moving on from a relationship, possibly also. Eight of Pentacles, the actual nine to five, putting in the work. I feel like a lot of you guys have put in the work to heal and to get back to your, you know, feeling like you're in your power because kings and queens hold positions of power and authority. You have reclaimed your power is what I'm getting. Um, also, some of you guys could be meeting someone at your workplace, or you met this person at your workplace or their workplace. And again, here's another eight. You have the eight of swords, you got the eight of pentacles. Something happened in August or on a day that's specifically associated with eight for some of you guys. Also, eight sideways is infinity symbol. So you may have felt like you would be with this person forever, but it just didn't work out that way. Because see, also here, she's falling for this person, but he's a ghost, which means he's either ghosted her or he's no longer in her life for one reason or another. He or she put where it applies. You and this person can have a first, middle, or last initial of CGMW, STK, LR, and I'm also getting S again. I just heard Reggie and Smith, okay? Bottom of the deck, five of cups, sadness, sorrow, grief, depression. So someone's very heartbroken and devastated. You could possibly be in this energy right now. You could be a May Gemini because you do have the five of cups. You have water, strong water sign placements in your chart also. Um, long story short, here's the thing. The Three of Wands is waiting for your ships to come in so a new relationship could be coming in after a very difficult one has wrapped up or or feeling like you will never find someone else. But see, he's still looking at the spilt milk, right? But behind him, there's two cups. Two of Cups is soulmates and that's a union. So you don't even see that it's a, a new relationship right on your heels because you're still too busy focusing on this past one. But I feel like that's you're moving forward from that, okay? So let's part the deck. Yep. Look at this. You keep getting this energy with three, okay? So you got three cups spilt over here. He, oh, my Lord. Another eight. You guys may be seeing angel number 888, okay? Something could have shifted around the 88 portal. And I feel like this year, um, you got the three of wands here. I want you to see this. You got three of wands here. And the 88 portal is in Leo season. You got fire there. You got three wands here. He's walking through three of the eight cups. And then there's three cups spilt over. So something with three, something could have ended because of a third party. You could have found out that you were the third party. Just seeing a star card, Aquarius. Yep. See, somebody could have found out that they were a third party. You got the devil here. Mm-hmm. 
Also, again, you could have been dealing with a Capricorn because you did have the devil earlier as well. You could have found out something very significant in Capricorn season. You guys know Capricorn season is December, January. So January of this year, you could have found out that um you were third party. Oh, yeah, third party. See, you got the lovers in reverse. That's you guys' energy. This is you guys' energy in reverse. So it's like whenever your major arcana is in reverse, some situation has like pulled the rug from under your feet. Some of you guys need to have a music journal, like write a music. Oh, wow. I'm just noticing this also. You have the devil and the lovers in reverse. The devil is the shadow of the lovers. So for some of you guys, this person was definitely a karmic. Okay. This person was a karmic. They, you know, this is a karmic situation. And it was meant to end, unfortunately, because it's, it's something else is coming in for you. Again, you know, in the song, I'll write a song for you. I'll write a song for you. It's about, it's a beautiful song. And it's talking about writing a song for someone that you're in love with. And it's, it's very positive. But for some of you guys, I'm getting like, you need to journal or write music or write lyrics about how you are dealing with or it's just something said in nature. I feel like a lot of you are very creative and you may not be putting that to use, right? And it's interesting because we have the devil twice and, and from what it's been told, they say the devil was the what the lord of music and things like that, right? So music, and I, I know that's a weird asso association when I say write it to heal and you associate it with the devil. But here's the thing, you have to flip it, flip that energy because the devil in this association is toxicity. So in order to heal, you know, use the tools of music, but let it be your own music, let it be your own lyrics. Because I keep hearing over and over again, you're writing your own theme music. You're writing your own soundtrack. So it's, it's a relationship that you just got out of or you're currently in. You literally could write a soundtrack just based off of your experiences. It's something about needing to write. Again, I know that may sound odd, but you need to write. Two of Cups in Reverse, yeah, because there could have been something that ended there, a breakup. And again, something very strongly associated with Leo. You had Cups here, but something with Leo. Let's get a clarifier for the King of Cups. I'm sorry, King of Swords, Seven of Wands, guarding this defensiveness, being protective. I feel like, again, I feel like you guys are just very protective of yourself now, actively. Okay, so he's sitting here, but he has a sword up like he's guarded. And then Wands is action. I'm going to say again, something with Leo. Leo season is July, August. You have the Seven of Wands. Wands is fire. So you could have been dealing with a Leo or something that happened in Leo season. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck. Four swords, that's your energy, pull back, retreat, go within, meditate, taking a break from a situation. Definitely something that's surrounding heartbreak. You got three swords here right over this person. If this if this sword fell, it would be right in the heart. So, hmm, yeah, because I'm hearing a shot in the heart and you're to blame. You give love a bad name. Um, bon Jovi. I just heard that. So some of you guys are still healing. And like I said, that's what I'm getting. Like, you can write a soundtrack based off of your experience with a certain situation and relationship. And it, it'll be therapeutic. It'll be healing. It'll be very healing is what I'm getting here. Let's get a clarify for the three of wands. Clarify for the three of wands for Gemini, Summer Rising, Venus, individuals. Just heard Walter Manning. And I'm hearing Wayne, Wayne Scotia. I feel like I'm saying it wrong, but I'm here in Wayne, Scotia. Uh, that's interesting. Never heard of that before, but I'm just going to put it out there because that may resonate for somebody. Ace of Cups, yeah. So in regards to some type of heartbreak, it's, it's time for you to write. Journal. Even if it's not music, time for you to journal. Time for you to write. Maybe put a playlist together. Not just a bunch of sad songs. Put a playlist together that helps you heal emotionally. Like, I've shared this a couple times. Like, if I feel... Like, I'm going through some very heavy things, some very difficult things. I listen to gospel music. You guys know I'm not religious. I 110% believe in God, okay? I know I do nothing without God, but I'm not religious. I don't put myself in that box. I'm spiritual because I believe God is in everything and all. But I listen to gospel music when I'm going through difficult times because it's about praise and raising your vibration. So maybe you want to put together a playlist that will help raise your vibration. So when you're going through the motions, dealing with this heartbreak or some type of ending, um... You can shift your energy, raise your vibration, because this definitely is like some type of ending. You have the Two of Cups in reverse, and then I got the Ace of Cups in reverse. And remember, I was just saying Wayne Scotia. Like, if I turn this up right, this is a W. So something with um, 
a location or someone whose name starts with a W. Okay, you got a first, middle, last initial W M T J C U H P. Uh, I think I said C already, but if I didn't, C N S. Okay. You also may have someone reaching out because see this hand is reaching out. You may have someone reaching out to you on a Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, or Thursday, or you may feel inclined to reach out to them. You may feel inclined to, but with this being in reverse, you may stop yourself. It's like a blockage. You may stop yourself from reaching out to this person because it's like you're reclaiming your power. Like I feel like you could have been dealing with someone in the past that they always had a way of pulling you back in, but I feel like you're stopping at this time around. You're ready to see your future. You're ready to move on to something new. You're ready and open for something new. Some of you guys will be meeting somebody new in Sag season. And when I say meeting someone new, it doesn't have to be like you're immediately going to fall in love with this person and be in a relationship. You just may start um, connecting with somebody new in Sag season. You guys know that's November, December time frame, the end of November, right? Because we're already in November. But you may end up meeting somebody new and just kind of seeing where it goes. But for some of you all, because you have the Ace of Cups in reverse, you may not have much hope. Um, because you went through something very heavy. But it's like, allow this to flow into your life. Boats flow, you know, they, they coast and flow. Allow this to come in. <laughs> a lot of you guys are going to be very guarded. I'm just looking at this. Look at his face like, I don't trust you. You guys can be very guarded. But allow this to come in because I do feel like this is someone that's meant to be on your path. Don't block that. Because this could be the love of your life. They can have the first, middle, or last initial of T-E-O-F-W-D or S. First, middle, last initial for the new person for you guys. Okay? So, Gemini, someone rising Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, and click the all button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.